Hello, I'm Eduardo Williams, director of Parsi, a short film shown at Forum Expanded. And I'm, I am Mariano Vlad. I am the person who wrote the poem that you're going to listen to in the film. Parece que le re gusta, parece pasto mojado, parece la camiseta de Italia, parece que no llegamos más, parece que entra toda, parece viento, parece una forma rara dibujada por el sol. Parece un secreto importante, parece total y definitivo, parece antiquísimo. Parece de hielo, parece voz, parece algo salado tranquilo, parece bio, bio, violeta, parece un caballo cansado, parece una sanguchería de congreso, parece de ahora, parece el mismo árbol, parece una chapita que le está dando el sol, parece el sol, parece los ángeles, parece superficie lunar, parece la resaca esa bajativa de que te querés matar. Parece niebla, parece que todos estamos pensando lo mismo. Parece Teddy, parece que viene a Bahrein, parece que pinta trío, parece mariposa rosa, parece Pikachu, parece enquetado, parece que estás tocando la guitarra, parece chamullo, parece música, parece amor, parece un signo de pregunta dado Tahuel, parece mi vieja, parece la misma persona. Hi, welcome to the 33rd Teddy Award. My name is Rumbo Bobak, and this time we're going to discuss the film Parsi with directors Eduardo Williams and Mariano Blatt. Hi, welcome Hi. to the festival, guys. Welcome to the Teddy in particular. Um, so the film is basically a poem. It follows a poem. It's very poetic, not just in its narrative and in its words, but also cinematically speaking. It's um, yeah, it, it follows a very specific rhythm. Um, can you tell us how this whole project started and what was your starting point for it? Um, well, I, I wrote the poem. Yeah. It is a poem that is constantly being written. It's mm -hmm. a constant work in progress. Yeah. And I had this uh, like uh, scholarship or this, uh, this, fund, this money from an Argentinian uh, uh, fund from the arts yeah. to make a, a, a film on, on, a poem of, on a poem of mine. Yeah. So I chose that poem and I asked Eduardo uh, if he was willing to make a film with it. So that's how it, it started. And then you clicked instantly yeah. with the poem. Yeah, because um, I know his work. We know each other for a long time, and I know his work for a long time. Yeah. And I already sort of stolen things from him before. Okay. <laughs> like, not stolen, but I took many yeah. of, like not a poem, but just pieces, you know, and yeah. transformed them into dialogues or something. Uh -huh. So it was very easy to know I would like to do a video with a poem. Yeah. Then, of course, I didn't know what to do at the beginning, normally, yeah. but I said yes, even if I didn't know what to do yet, because I knew this, I knew I shared a lot with him in some right. way, so it, it had a sense doing it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then I started thinking, I mean, I read the poem and just like thought of things, but not directly related in yeah. some way. The idea was to bring also something new to the poem and not to try to uh, reflect what the poem has in images or something, you yeah. know. So I thought things about things I wanted to do that were in my mind in general to, for a next project. And then um, well, that's how I thought about yeah. going to Guinea-Bissau to shoot. And then I, I shot there and then in maybe post-production, poem came back again, more precisely, and there I like edited with the poem in my ears and listening to it and, yeah. and everything. But yeah, that was yeah, but it provides a lot of flexibility, I guess, because you say that it's a poem that it's constantly being written. Mm -hmm. It's constantly being like it's in a flux of change, basically. Yes. Um, so that's sort of reflects in the movie as well. What, what was your approach with, with that particular element of the of the poem? For me, I mean, what what I took from the poem at first was like the rhythm, the, the duration, the uh, the insistence, the repetition, all those elements more than maybe the words in precisely. Yeah. Um, so that was, I mean, that was a very, uh, for me, very useful way to connect with the film. Like, I had this rhythm in mind, I had this music in mind also of his voice reading it. Yeah. Um, so that was like the element I took, and that's very flexible also. Um, but 
up to. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Uh, so the poem goes on. It seems like this is like the recurring thing in it. Which kind of positions everything in a very uncertain way? Like uncertainty becomes kind of like a driving force of the whole thing, uh, which I thought was interesting because obviously when something is uncertain, it always has the possibility of discovering something new or creating something new. It opens up an, a space for imagination. Uh -huh. um, did you want to play with that in the movie, yeah. particularly with this imaginative space? Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, for me, it's very important that mm -hmm. this uncertainty. I mean, I also when I want to do a film, it's because there are so many things I don't know what, how they will come out, you know. And so uncertainty is in every part of it. I mean, what I'm doing, I'm, I also like to go to countries I've never been before. So, um, and <clears throat> I, I, I don't work with a very like a, a previous script or ideas. I, I go to the to the places. I meet people and. We, together we start thinking how we can do it and also many of the things we do are collaborations I mean you as you've seen in the short the, the actors have the camera themselves yeah. and I'm not there so we talk but then they are there they let them yeah. go and then they come back and I see that afterwards yeah. in post production yeah. so I really like this because as you said um, for me the only way to discover new things is to like jump to the emptiness or, yeah. or to the yeah. apparent emptiness and see what happens you know yeah and if it's the only way i'm interested in working i know because if not it would be very boring and i think for them it's also for the people that participate in the film it's also very uncertain because they are not so sure in what type of film of course we speak a lot about this but normally it's people that don't work in cinema and Maybe, I don't know, they have different ideas of what a movie is and I try to explain what I want to do, but we are never so sure. But I think that's the nice thing. They trust in some way and they like give themselves and their ideas to yeah. the film. And I think we are all in this uh, appreciation of uncertainty and that's why what always I'm, what also I'm interested to share with the spectator, right? Yeah, right. Like not to be so sure and not to be so sure in what and the poem also has that, I think. Like, I read it many times before shooting, yeah. and I listened to it many times afterwards. Um, and it, I always discover like new phrases I didn't even notice before, yeah. and that, but are very strong, so I can't be, understand how I didn't remember about this. But it's so, that's what I like the, of the poem, also. it's so long and strange that it's very difficult not to come out and come in and come out and come in and it's very diverse in the way it's very different for each person, like, absolutely. that's how it relates a lot with the types of films I want to do mm -hmm. and how I see films. And I think I'm, in films I'm always like going in and out and like getting things and try, sort of be very, being very free to make my own film as a spectator, right? Mm, definitely. I'm not very worried about getting what the film wants to say, but just having my own experience in the film. Yeah. That's what I want the spectators to do in my films, I hope. Right, yeah. <laughs> and it's interesting because you say, what you say about the way how this movie was made, it's, it has a very strong communal element with all these collaborations and, and it's a lot of trust and really there is a feeling of community. And that sort of relates back to the poem as well because, or for me, when I was listening to it through the movie, I almost took it as an invitation mm -hmm. to put my own yeah, into perfect. it, to, to have this, so it has like this interplay element yeah, with it. And of course, um, while I am writing it, it oh, the poem is full of, of things that I took from other places or I heard from others yeah. say, um, because in a way I come put in the poem anything that happens to me in, yeah. in my life or anything that I see, I read, I, I listen to. So um, it is a very collaborative poem. Uh, in my opinion, a poetry is usually very collaborative, uh, even if other people don't know. But when you write, when you write poetry, you are always stealing things from others or, or things that you hear and, and how people talk, uh, things they said. Um, 
but maybe in this poem it's like I'm, I am being evident about that. I am saying, well, yes, I'm going to take everything I want and put it in the poem, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. That was very fascinating to me. Um, let's talk a bit about the title of the film, Parsi. Mm -hmm. um, is this a reference to Nietzsche and the whole uh, Das Boot Zarathustra and this eternal recurrence because that's how I understood it and that's what is related for me. Yeah, I really felt that way because there is this element of, of the eternal recurrence of the same. It's mm -hmm. like, seems like, seems like, so we really get into this, I don't know, almost liturgic way of, 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 of reciting this poem or, uh -huh. or, or saying this poem. Uh, so for me that was the connection, but maybe I was completely on a different path. <laughs> no, it's know. great. I mean, it's very simple, really. It's just like the translation of it seems in the language oh. we speak in uh, Guinea Bissau. In, ah, okay. in Spanish, it's nice. parece, and parsi is the translation in. Uh, in yeah. the Creole from Guinea Bissau. Yeah. So wow. yeah, it's very simple, but I love what you thought. It's yeah. great. I went into a great intellectual <laughs> loop. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's um, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so another thing that for me was very striking is that um, um, sort of how this poem builds up and how it relates to the images that we see on the screen. I feel like that there is some sort of confrontation, or there is like some sort of tension between the two, because um, in a way, with this whole rhythm of the poem, it, it seems a bit automatic, but then it gets defeated by the freedom and the flexibility that the whole project opens up, and, and sort of this automatism, I don't know, like it just gets replaced with agency or or I don't know what would be a better word for that, like, um, yeah, maybe autonomy or something like that. Um, I don't know if you have thought about this, this conflict that then resulted something very interesting and something very refreshing. Yeah, I mean, I thought about this also in the duration of the film, you know, mm -hmm. I think for me at least it's, it, it has different moments, yeah. as you said, some, in some way. So that's, I also thought about this when I was constructing the film. So yeah. also maybe very clearly at the beginning we have moment where, where we have less image, less information in the image so we can have the poem more present. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. the image, more things start happening until we have like the camera rolling yeah. and more uh, rolling now and doing this um, spinning. spinning yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then the wind comes and then we have more dialogues of the characters so we have too much to read so we don't we can't read everything and then also the poem has these moments of being very like repetitive but then as you said the the, the, the rhythm and the, the what's happening in the image wins a little bit and then mm -hmm. I really like how the poem and the image have different relations can have different relations yeah. in, in the film because of duration also depending on who is watching yeah. but um, I really like this in some way I thought it and in some way I discovered it while I was like putting them together mm -hmm. this different like I don't know as you said then the image maybe they start like roller blading so it's yeah. more like fluid and the movement starts being yeah. more light in some yeah. way yeah. and the poem maybe becomes a little bit heavier because you are um, and I don't know I think it, it all of this I really like the idea that you can like the poem and the image transforms and have mm. different relations along the film. Yeah. Um, and the idea of autonomy and sort of, I think that's also important for me because the actors have the camera and yeah. this gives you this, this, this sensation that they are taking you on wherever they yeah. want. And I think that's a very good feeling I, I had when I thought about this idea of giving right. them the camera. I thought it, and I think I'm happy to see it shows in the film. Yeah. For me, it shows, but it's good to know yeah, that it shows it, for you too. It does for sure. Um, and yeah, I really like this like transformation of, of of the poem, and maybe for moments you you don't want it anymore, and then you did rediscover it and yeah. you love it in a new way. Yeah. And I really like this like sort of different way of. Of, of experiencing the poem that is not yeah. the same that when you read it or when you just listen to it read like live in a, yeah. in a, in a when he reads it yeah. Um, 
yeah for me that was mm -hmm. an exciting yeah. like challenge on how to do a poem and a film together and also a poem that has so many images you know that's yeah, full of images so it would be like exhausting to to make a any relation between the yeah. poem and the image it would be very boring for the spectator so yeah. I think that he resolved it in a, in a very yeah, nice way yeah. yeah the poem itself that we that we hear throughout the film contains a lot of queer elements like it refers a lot to queer existence and mm -hmm. queer life in, in general um, how did these got into into the whole poem and, and was this particularly important to to have it inside because that was just uh, I think that it, 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 it got into the poem because well I'm, I mean I started writing the poem in 2012 so it's been seven mm. years now yeah. and in these seven years like my life been uh, full of, <laughs> of queer yeah. elements so it just gets yeah. into the poem because it's I don't know, part of my experience uh, my daily life in Buenos Aires. That's why also why the poem has so many like it has many like gay elements or queer elements and queer slang from Buenos Aires yeah. that are very specialized. Um, and yeah, that's the reason because it's like part of my life. That's yeah. <laughs> so it just came from yeah, yeah. your own experience. Yeah, from my own experience. Yeah, yeah. totally. Nice. <laughs> and then if we look at the film itself and the filmic techniques. I think it becomes like super queer as well because, and you briefly mentioned it uh, previously as well, um, that this film sort of plays with the idea of what a film is as well. And I think it sort of challenges these traditional notions of what we understand as a cinematic piece. Um, and in that sense, I think it's really in line with this whole idea of queer trying to um, deconstruct definitions and, and borders and exact categories. Um, I don't know if this is something that you had in mind when you yeah. were doing this film. I mean, I think also it's something very natural. It comes because it's sort of my way of existing in general, you know, or trying to exist in general. Okay. And of course, when I do cinema, I always want to also sort of look for my own identity or the, a special identity for the films. That, yeah. And I think that's a little bit about queerness and trying to always look for where you feel better or what, what is your, the way you want to exist in many ways um, and like not feeling very comfortable with the classical way that somehow society tries you to be or yeah. wants to take you sometimes or I felt I feel that many times maybe not now so much because you construct yourself and you try to be but uh, but yeah, that was very important. For me also, it was important to try to connect in some way with queer people from places that I don't know a lot about. Yeah. Um, that's why I looked for different people in Bissau. And I, yeah. Also, Argentina and Bissau are not connected so much, mainly. And for me, it was important to try to make this connection in the film yeah. or try to also share experiences because I think in many countries we are always looking at the same countries, or, mm, so sure. the experiences come more from there. And yeah. as I don't know a lot from about queer life in Bissau, I, yeah. I think they don't know a lot about queer life in Argentina. Yeah. So I think it was nice for me to share that and to learn about that myself and try to share my experience with others. Yeah. So we could just like you know I don't know just share different experiences. Yeah. And in the film, I hope that. Yeah, it translates, also, yeah, certainly, yeah. it translates very well, and I think that's also a very important thing to point out about the film, that there is this element in it through that, that you, that you were shooting in Bissau and you met these people, and sort of this perspective becomes visible, which we are mostly unaware in the Western world, so I think that was also something very crucial about this piece. Yeah, yeah, for me it was very important. And also it's important that that relates with the film itself and with the yeah. language of the film itself, because I think all has, in my opinion, all has to have like the same logic. I would mm. like to do a very classical film about queer existence yeah. in some way, you know. I think it's 
in good to I don't know because I think it's good to know that this uh, aspect of queerness can real it's about yeah. films about everything about what yeah. you do and about form and about yeah. that Certainly. trying to exist in one way or the other yeah great well guys thank you very much for for talking with us about this film um, I wish you all the best for the rest of the family thank family have a lot of fun and hopefully we will see each other very soon sure. thank you so much thank, thank you, you. Thank you.